Before we jump into today's show, I just wanted to let you know that I have got a brand new three-part audio series available to download right now. If you head over to donnaeadecom forward slash three-part audio, that's all one word, no spaces, you can download your How to Build Your Authority with Podcasting audio series. This is going to address guesting and hosting, so if you're interested in either of those and you want to know how to build your authority, head over to donnaeadecom forward slash three part audio. The link will be in the show notes. You're listening to the Mindset and Action podcast, the place to be to grow and streamline your business. I'm your host, Donna Eve. Let's jump into the show. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody, and welcome to this mini Mindset Monday episode. So usually this would be the week that I have Viv on to talk about something mindset wise, Um, but I failed to get myself into her diary quick enough for us to get it done for this week. So we're actually meeting the following week from when I am recording this to do our next batch of episodes. So she will be back in a couple of weeks time. So don't worry, she's not gone anywhere. If you do have questions for Viv, you can go over to the blog post for this episode or to the um, show notes and you will see a form there that says ask Viv or something like that. And if you have a question around your mindset um, that you would like to put to her, it can be completely anonymous. Um, I won't say your name on the show unless you would like me to, Um, but I can put a question to her for you um, and we can see if we can get some guidance about how you might manoeuvre around that block. Okay, so that is what is coming, but today I thought we would do something a little different. So today I actually, I, I got AI involved guys. I thought it would be fun to show you how you can use AI in your business. And I've said to you guys before that I have used AI to help me do my podcast outlines. So what I will usually do is do a prompt that says, I am looking to do a podcast on X. Can you give me three points that I can talk about in a podcast outline? And it will do it. I do some version of that prompt. It's not quite exactly what I say, (laughs) but it will then give me a podcast outline and I will read through that outline and I'll go, do I agree with that point? Don't I agree with that point? Is that accurate? And I will adjust, but it just stops me staring at a blank page because if I go, oh, I want to do a podcast on, um, you know, how to market your business in 2024, I would just sit there and go, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would just draw a blank because that's what my brain does. It just doesn't like to (laughs) pull the information. But when it comes up with chat, I could go, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, that would be a really good idea. Or no, that wouldn't work for us. So I could say this instead. It starts sparking my own ideas. So that's why I like to use chat. But I thought I would share with you a an exact um, sort of reaction from chat from a tr- uh, from a prompt that I gave it um, in today's mini mindset episode. So what I actually asked was, what are three things we can do in the morning to help us set up our mindset for the day? Okay, so this is the response because we talk about the mindset blocks on the mini mindset Monday and how you can move through those blocks. But there are also things that you can do if you start to create daily habits around mindset things, then you can start to improve your overall mindset, which will in turn help with some of these blocks. It may be that it can completely remove a block that you've got. um, But it also, but if not, it is setting you up for maybe being able to sort of see the path that it could that could lead you to unblocking that block. I think oftentimes our mindset is so shut down that we can't see the wood through the trees. And we're not ready to listen to what people have to say. So if we can start working on our mindset ourselves with some simple practices, then 
when some when we've got a, a problem that we really say, look, I need some help with this, we'll be more open to receiving that help. So that's why I thought we would do this episode today. So some of these things, well, all of these things you probably already know, but it's always worth a reminder. And I just thought it would be interesting for you to see the sorts of things that you can get out of chat GPT with a simple prompt like that. So the first thing that ChatGPT suggests that we do to help with our mindset is practice gratitude. Now, this is one that I hear again and again in the space. I really do hear it so often and I'm pretty darn terrible at it, to be honest with you. I don't do it as a daily practice and it's something that I feel like I need to do. I need to practice this And oftentimes people will say this to do this first thing in the morning, like write down three things. And this is what chat says, how to do it. Take a few minutes to think about or write down three things that you are grateful for. This can be anything from appreciating a good night's sleep to being thankful for supportive friends and family. And I was having a conversation with my sister um, about this at once. And she turned around and she goes, well, the thing is, is when I wake up in the morning, I haven't done anything. So there's nothing to be grateful for (laughs) yet. And I'm sure you could think of things, but I feel like it would become very samey, like, yeah, a good night's sleep. Thank you for my husband. Thank you for the roof over my head. You know, those are great things to be grateful for. Um, And perhaps you want to be a bit more creative than that. So I think what I'm going to do when it comes to this is to write down one thing I'm grateful for in the morning. And then write down three things I'm grateful for before I go to bed and read them the next morning to remind myself what I was grateful for. So that's what I'm going to do, because I think then you get things like, you know, maybe um, you had somebody reach out to you in your emails and offer you help with something that um, is really going to free up some time for you or maybe a friend sent a card through the post that came unexpectedly. Those things you're not necessarily going to remember first thing in the morning when you wake up, but you were certainly grateful for them at the time. So at the end of the day, might be a better day to, time of day to do that. So I'm going to do one thing I'm grateful for in the morning and then three things I'm grateful at night. And then I will read those the next morning um, to remind me of what I'm grateful for. And It then says why it helps. Practicing gratitude can shift your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a positive outlook and reducing stress. And that is something that I completely can get on board with, that when you work from a place of lack, then that's, you know, negativity, desperation, Um, hopelessness, all of those kind of negative words start to come out. But if you are working from a place of I have, you know, you come at it with a more positive, you're happy, you you have, you're hopeful, you know, it kind of gives you those more positive terms. So I can understand that. So hopefully that's something that can resonate with you um, and that you can see that that might be able to help you as well to get that mindset in the right place when you start your day. The second thing will be something that the far too fabulous ladies will be very excited to hear. um, And that is engage in physical activity. So this is Monday morning. And if you are listening to this at any time between 9.30 and 10.30, I am probably doing my physical exercise right now because I do Piloxing with Catherine from Far Too Fabulous um, at 9.15 on a Monday morning. And that is a combination of Pilates exercises with boxing exercises put to music. So that's what Piloxing is. If anybody's out there going, what on earth did she just say? A swear word. (laughs) No, it is a physical activity that I enjoy doing on a Monday and a Wednesday. Um, So in court, it says how to do it. Incorporate some form of physical activity into your morning routine, such as stretching, yoga, a quick workout or even a brisk walk. So anything that you can do to get your body up and moving. Um, I'm going to add 
a, a fourth point of my own, which is again why I say I like to use ChatGPT because it gets my mind thinking. Um, and it says it helps with physical activity, helps release endorphins, um, a natural mood lifter. It also helps increase energy levels and improve concentration, setting a productive tone for the day. So my my extra is to get the sun on your face. So this is why a nice brisk walk can work in the morning. Get the sun on your face as early as possible. Not always possible, especially in the UK. The sun doesn't often make a appearance. But if you wake up, you open your eyes and you see that sunshine, you go and stand in front of your window and get some sun on your face because that really helps lift my mood. Um, And it's also vitamin D and it does, it is known to help improve your mood. So that is my little addition to that. The third thing is mindfulness and meditation. So spend five to 10 minutes practicing mindfulness or meditation. This can be done through a guided meditation using apps like the Calm app that I use to do my daily meditations, uh, deep breathing exercises, or simply sitting quietly and focusing on your breath. So whichever way you want to do it, five to 10 minutes of just taking a moment Um, even just putting your hand on your heart and taking five deep breaths in and out can really help. Mindfulness and meditation help to calm the mind, reduce anxiety and increase your awareness and presence. This practice can help you start the day with clarity and a sense of peace. So there we go, guys. Those are three things plus my sunshine tip um, to do first thing in the morning to help you get your mindset in the right place for the day. If you have got to get up five to 10 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, half an hour earlier than everybody in your household to get this stuff done, I would highly recommend doing that. If it means going to bed half an hour earlier, do it. Because doing these things in the morning, and yeah, if you've got the school run to do and you have to go out and do the school run and you can come back, even if you can come back and just take some time to do these things, um, make the brisk walk, the walk to school. Um, And if you can do these things, it's just going to help to set you up for the rest of your day. So even if it's a case of you've got to do the school run and the family stuff in the morning, when you come home, if you do these things, it's just going to send to you, bring you that sense of peace, reduce that anxiety, reduce the stress and set you up for your work day. So I hope that helps. I hope that was an interesting view into how ChatGPT can help you with your mindset, but also can help you with prompts and ideas that are just going to help you to spark further ideas like it did for me just then um, and help you to streamline your processes. So I will be back on Thursday with a full episode. So join me then and I will speak to you soon. Bye for now. Don't forget to hit those stars and leave a review of the podcast where you listen if you found value in what you heard today. It's a free way you can help the podcast reach more people just like you.